about type of hysterectomy, it's actually uh, closely related to cervical cancer. So the video today will actually explain about the topography of the uh, typical uh, type of hysterectomy. So in total, there are five types. Um, there are a lot of classifications about type, but um, the type of hysterectomy was described uh, by the European organizations uh, in 2007. So basically, there are five types in total, type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4 and type 5. So the other name for this is uh, extra facial, modified radical, radical, extended radical, and also pelvic exenteration. So to describe about this, we have to go back to the anatomy. Uh, first, I'd like to describe there are six things that I would like to highlight here. First is about the vagina, the bladder, the ureter, the uterine artery, This is vagina and also the uterosacral which actually at the back so looking from above for example this is the fundus of the uterus at the back here this is the fallopian tubes this is looking from up so this is the uterosacral which basically attach um, at the uh, posterior fornix of the vagina and up to the sacrum this is a sacral bone, for example. Utero sacral ligament. So uh, let's go to the first type. Okay, so in relates, uh, first of all, in relates to the vagina. For the extra facial, Usually, uh, the vagina minimally removed. So basically, what uh, we're trying to look at, at is actually the this is this uh, this proximal point. This is distal point. So as we go down, we're gonna go more distal, more lateral from the uterus. So more radical, um, and more down below. So let's begin with the vagina first. So usually in um, in extrafacial, only a minimal tissue vagina removed. But in modified, usually two third of uh, uh, sorry the upper two centimeter of the two centimeter of the vagina vault removed. Upper upper two cm of vagina removed. But in radical, we're going to move one-third, the whole one-third of the vagina. And the same, uh, one-third to half of the vagina is removed in here. So basically, we remove one-third, one-third of the vagina or half of it. So we remove somewhere here in Accentuations and also radical. What time? And that is for vagina. So we go further to the bladder. As um, for extra facial, there is only partial of the bladder remove, uh, uh, mobilized. Sorry, it was not remove. And then the same goes to the uh, type 2, which is only partials of the uh, 
of the uterovesicle uh, folds was removed, uh, was uh, mobilized. And then for part three, it, as you can see, as you want to remove one third of the vagina and half of it. So we have to remove, com we have to completely mobilize the bladder so that we can achieve this amount of tissues. So complete mobilize here. And in exenterations, partial of the bladder is acted. Or in, in total uh, pelvic exenterations, usually we remove the whole bladder and do a, a conduit. Okay, uh, that's for the bladder. And what about at the back, uterosacral? For uterosacral, uh, initially it only will cut at the distal uh, proximal part of it, so near uterus. And then uh, as you go further, lateral, modified radical, move at the midpoint between the uterus and also the sacrum. So in the midpoint of the ligament. And as we go laterally, we go to the distal most of the uh, ligament. The same thing goes here. Basically, you want to truncate everything here. So that is front, front and the back. What about lateral side? So lateral side will talk about the uterine artery. For the uterine artery, you have to try to imagine the um, uterine artery dis distributions. As we know, this is the um, common iliac artery. So we have external iliac and also internal iliac artery. And we divide it into anterior and posterior branch, right? So the posterior branch is uh, iliolumbar. And then we have the lateral sacral. And we have the superior gluteal. So at the back here, we have the inferior gluteal artery. And we have the internal pudendal. We have a uh, middle rectal, uterine artery, vaginal artery. And then we have obturator artery. And we have the superior vesicle artery. And also it's end up here with the obliterated umbilical artery, which was... So uh, we have uh, iliolumbar. This is posterior branch, iliolumbar. Uh, lateral sacral and this is uh, superior gluteal we have inferior gluteal and then internal pudendal and then we have the middle rectal uh, vaginal uterine and then we have the obturator and we have the superior vesicle the branch of the superior vesicles and we have the obliterated umbilical artery so in, in the uterine artery, in relates to the uterine artery, for type 1, uh, where's my pen? For type 1, usually we like it at the uterus. So type 1, we like it, the uterine artery here. For type 2, usually we uh, like it um, medial to the ureter, as we know, the ureter. So we like it medial to the ureter. For the radical, usually we like it at the origin of the uterine. So, origin of uterine artery. So, basically, we like it here. Just now, we like it for type 1, we like it somewhere near the uh, uterus. And then in the middle, medial to the uh, ureter. And then at the origins of the uh, uterine artery. 
and then if it's an extended then we try to like it at the at here the superficial superior vesicle artery and the same thing for the exenteration so basically the whole branch of it uh, is also ligated and we don't have to worry because because of a, be, each of this uh, they got their own anastomosis which we usually ask in part one mcqs so that's for the uterine artery and then that's for the lateral side uterine artery and then what about the parametrium uh, what about the ureter before you uh, you, the parametrium first lah. Parametrium, the tissue surrounded. So initially we resect near uterus, so as medial. And then uh, medial to ureter. So the parametrium is removed here. This is the parametrium. So initially at near the uterus and then medial to the ureter. And for the lateral, we, we resect at pelvic wall. So resect the whole until the pelvic wall. So the same things for the exenterations and also extended radical. And one, two, three, four, five. And then the last one we'll talk about the ureter. As I've uh, mentioned previously in different videos, so the ureter um, was not mobilized in type 1. And then uh, in type 2, because you want to go medial to the ureter, we have to unroof, unroof uh, the parametrial tissue. Metrial tunnel. And then um, as we go more lateral, so we have to dissect till um, it goes into the bladder. So until the, till the bladder, the incisions to the bladder. So um, in extended, usually we remove very urethral tissues as well. And uh, distal ureter is cut uh, in exenterations. So basically, these are the five types of um, of the uh, hysterectomy. So basically, when to do each of this. So as you can remember, uh, sorry, I don't have a ruler. If you can remember, we have uh, classifications of a uh, new classifications of um, uh, cervical CA, which was renewed by FICO in 2018. So let's go first to the just to remember the classifications. So we have 1A and then 1A1, 1A2, 1B1, 1B2, 1B3. And then we have 2, 2, A, 1, 2, A, 2. And then we have B, 3, we have A, B, and then C, 1, C, 2. And 4, we have A and B. So what I want to show here is that how small it is that we have to, rem how radical it is actually. So this is less than 3 mm. So this 3 to 5 mm. This is 5 to 2 centimeter. Um, this is uh, 2 to 4, this is more than 4 cm. This is uh, less than 4 cm but with uh, involvement of 2 thirds of the vagina. This is more than 4 cm but with involvement of 2 thirds of the vagina without parametrium. B is parametrium involvement. So uh, B is parametrium involvement. So 3A is uh, when there is a one third lower vagina and we have hydronephrosis here. Nephrosis and then pelvic lymph nodes. This is aortic lymph nodes. And uh, for uh, 4A is uh, bladder 
and rectum. This is distal, distant metastasis. So as we know, um, the uh, when we talk about this, so for type one, usually it is for one A one. This for stage. So basically, for type one is one A one. So it's very minimal tissue remove, just like a simple hysterectomy. Uh, it, it is an hysterectomy um, because the lesion is only less than 3 mm. But for type 2, type 2 of hysterectomy, it is for 1A2 to 1B1. So 1A2 to 1B1, this is type 2 hysterectomy. And then uh, for 1B1 until 2A, so the, because this classification was given before this new FIGO staging of 2018. So, so 1B1 or 1B2 to 2A basically is for the radical. So here until 2A is for the radical hysterectomy over time. So as you can see, the lesions is quite small here. But the moment it goes 4 cm, we have to do radicals. And then um, extended radical is for 2A as well. And usually if it's already involved the parametrium, uh, it is questionable about the benefits of the hysterectomy. Thus, for this usually people will actually uh, discuss with the patients. Probably the best at this point is not um, uh, surgery, but... CCRT. The moment the uh, the, the the mass become more invade invades further down, and lateral, so CCRT must be will be more beneficial for the patient. And in fact, the one who get the uh, CCRT eighty four percent of uh, have the same survival rate with the surgery. And of course, if we talk about the pelvic accentuations, usually we talk about this stage 4A. And for 4B, usually we just do a palliative care. For example, uh, if there is a bleeding, so we have to go for radio palliative radiotherapy. And um, the prognosis is quite bad.